Hello and welcome to this video brought to you by Smart Edu Hub Mumbai. In today's video, I have taken questions based on Venn diagrams. It will basically involve the shading. Also, it will involve the interpretation of the already given shaded diagrams to you. So now, with this information, let us begin solving the questions based on Venn diagrams. All are board questions, okay? And they are taken from paper 2 of 0580. So let's begin. The first one is from May June 2002, paper 3, sorry, paper 2 and question number 3. In diagram 1, shade the area that represents A union B complement. So, first we'll shade the A and then the B complement. So, A is everything that is in A. So, this is A. And now we'll shade the B complement. B complement is everything excluding B. Since it's a union, union means everything that is shaded is the answer region. Okay, so this is the answer region. Next is the B part. Describe in set notation the shaded area in diagram 2. As you can see, everything apart from or everything other than C union D has been shaded. So I think you got your answer. C union D complement. Fine. So that is done. Now we move ahead to the next question. Now this question is involving some kind of uh, calculations we won't do. Okay, we'll do this question. It tells us A complement intersection C complement. A complement means everything other than A and C complement means shade everything other than C. So let's begin. A complement. I'm shading the A complement. So this is how I'm going to shade. All this is A complement. So I'm done with shading the A complement. Now what remains is the C complement. So now I begin shading the C complement. C complement again will be everything other than C. So I will not shade the set C. I'll shade everything other than the set C. Most important thing to observe is it's an intersection, not a union. So intersection means only the overlap, overlapping regions. So let us see which regions are the crisscross or the overlapping regions these regions over here these regions over here are the overlapping regions the crisscross regions outside this circle here in between the two circles and outside this circle. So these are all the crisscross regions. So this region in blue is my crisscross region or my answer region. So I'm going to erase all the other things, all the other shadings, all these lines in between so that they don't interfere with my final answer. So this is how your final answer will look like. Okay, going to the next part of the question. The next part of the question tells us a union C intersection B. A union C means we are going to shade everything of A and C. So let's begin. This is A. This is C. And intersection of A union C meaning this blue region with the circle B or the set B. Let us see what happens. Well, this is what it is. Now, also remember that intersection is the crisscross region. So, this is the only crisscross region in the left side. And this is the crisscross region in the right side. So, these two regions that I have shaded in continuous green are my answer regions. So, I am going to erase every other part that is the unwanted part. Okay. 
fine so now let's go to the other question okay this question here the question tells us to shade a intersection b intersection c is very simple a intersection b is the region that is the overlapping regions for the two circles a and b which is this region shown by a petal like shape and the intersection of this a intersection b with c now where is your c the circle c is shown by this border this green border for more clarity so we want to find an overlapping region or the intersection region of a b and c as you can see it is only in this small part here that all the three overlap each other or intersect each other so this continuous green shaded region is a answer region so then we erase all the unwanted shadings so this is our final answer going to the next part of the question it tells us to shade a union b complement a union b complement means you have to shade a so this is my a and union of a with what with b complement now shade b complement meaning shade everything but not b so let us begin shading remember you will not shade anything that is in b everything other than b is the b complement so now that i've shaded the b complement my final answer is everything that is shaded because remember i told you the word union means everything that is shaded is the answer region okay now let's move ahead to the next question okay this one here is very interesting you have to find the rule based on which the shading was done in the one that is to the left it's very clear that a union b union c was not shaded so the complement of a union b was shaded sorry the complement of a union b union c was shaded now coming to the next part of the question this region is a very small part of region b so this looks like an intersection so now let us assume what it is you can do one thing you can pause my video you can think you can find the answer and then you can restart my video okay i'm sure you have given it a thought and then now you've got your answer so check your answer with mine what i feel is this is a union c complement intersection b i'll prove you why i think that way a union c complement means everything you're going to shade except for a and c so i'm doing the same thing i'm shading everything but not a and c so this is what my shading will look like for a union c complement an intersection of that with b so b is this and i told you intersection is the crisscross region so as you can see only this part here is the crisscross region so my answer seems to be right i hope you also got the right answers if not you redo the way i have done you get your answers right this is how your answer would have looked like if you would have shaded based on what i have written so a union c complement intersection b will give you the green region and erase the green region you get there question region which is the gray region these will be the last two set of questions that will be in today's video so the seventh one tells us a union b complement intersection c so a union b complement is everything other than a union b so let's shade it so this is my a union b complement an intersection of that with c so i have to see the crisscross region that's my answer region okay so as you can see my crisscross region is only this part here so that means my question is solved so this is the answer region 
now moving ahead to the next part a intersection b union c so this is very simple a intersection b meaning this part the intersection of a and b and the union of that with c meaning completely shade everything of c and whatever is left on the screen is your answer region remember because union refers to everything that is shaded it is not like intersection where you need the crisscross or the uh, overlapping region so here i got my answer now moving to the last part of the question for today it is a union b element meaning everything that is of a so shade a and union of that with b complement again there is union so there is no need to worry everything that is colored is your answer region so complement of b is all of this so this is your answer region and for the last part it is a intersection b complement you know the petal like thing if i would have colored the inside of it it would have been a intersection b now when i have to do the complement meaning i will leave that part and shade everything outside it so that means i have got the answer to my question so well that's all in today's video on venn diagrams i hope you like watching my video please do subscribe to my channel if you like thank you